Here's, uh, oh, speaking of this, um, we have audio sound by Jim Jeb Bush. Uh, a number of things the former Florida governor said in years past have come to light. And one of the, and some of them, many people think are really odd. Some people think really strange. Like one of the ideas that uh, Jeb has touted since Detroit is failing, just repopulate it with immigrants. Just make it Tijuana North or Cabo or pick a whatever. And just, just put put the illegal Im- immigrants there and and renew Detroit and and. Bring it up out of the ashes. And the immigrants can do it. The illegal, it's the perfect place to do it. Now, I don't know what the current town council, city council uh, population would think about that. Probably have a pretty good idea when they hear about it. First up, this is Jeb yesterday afternoon in Detroit at the Detroit Economic Club. The moderator is uh, Detroit Regional Chamber of Commerce President and CEO Sandy Barua. And in moderating, he's talking to Jeb, and he said, uh, where does this nation need to go in terms of immigration reform, and what are its prospects for actual success? Immigration is not a problem. The immigrant experience in our country makes us unique and special and different, and it is part of our extraordinary success. We need young, dynamic people that can make an immediate contribution to our economy. We shouldn't be fearful of this. We should say, what an incredible opportunity. And so I would hope that that mentality of shifting this to an economic issue rather than a political issue will be helpful. And it starts with regaining confidence that the federal government can enforce the border. They need to secure the border, first and foremost. There's no denying that. Yeah, but it's not the first thing he said. So anyway, you know... There's a theme running all of these open borders guys, and and Jeb has um, has done it here too. We need young, dynamic people who can make an immediate contribution to our economy. The immigrant experience makes us unique and special and different. It's part of our extraordinary success. We need young, dynamic people who can make an immediate contribution to our economy. We shouldn't be fearful. We should say... What an incredible opportunity. What about the young people already here? We just got through talking about the fact that there aren't enough jobs for people here already. There certainly aren't enough jobs in careers for people who are here already. What is this fascination? And I mean, the open borders crowd has it. And I really would like to know, what's the fascination? Why are the immigrants that we want to import better suited to, say, rebuild a city like Detroit than people who live there now or anybody in America? What, what, what's the magic? What am I missing? Seriously. What? what? Yeah, they're, they're Hispanic, but what does that mean? I mean, what? why? Look, okay. All right, so I know it's all about votes. I know that all of this is about registering these people as voters, and the Republicans want them, and the Democrats want them, and everybody knows that Democrats are going to get most of them, but the Republicans think they can get enough of them to be competitive. But why not just say that instead of this, this... We... Of course it sounds too political, but why is it not offensive that the only way we can rebuild our cities, the only way we can really relaunch our economy is to import young people from outside the country. What about the young people already here? What is this a tantamount admission that that the young people in this country have already thrown in with the worthless and they're unsalvageable? They already got their benefits. They got no motivation to go out and save a city. They don't have to work. We need people who want to come in here and work. Oh, so this is a tantamount admission. Our welfare state's gotten so big, we don't actually have enough people willing to work. Is that what you're saying? So we need to import people who want to work because we have destroyed the work ethic in our country by giving out so much welfare. So we want people, we want to import people who will work, but what we really want is for them to vote. And what we really want, to, we want them to also be on the welfare roll so they will become further and forever dependent on us in government. So that after they vote the first time, they will always vote for us. 
That would be the cynical view. I mean, the, the question is, what contribution to our economy do uneducated, unskilled people add? Uh, that's who the un, that's who the illegal immigrants are. That, nobody makes nobody makes any bones about that. They're undereducated. They're they're in poverty. The vast majority. That's the reason we're supposed to open the border to them. We're supposed to open the border to them because they're undereducated and they're poor because the places they're leaving are in such bad shape. And this is the land of opportunity. Okay, so I want to know what contribution to the economy do uneducated and unskilled arrivals add. Meanwhile, only 44% of adults in America have full-time jobs. What's the youth unemployment number? Over around 20%? So what is all this? And by the way, why do we also want or need a new measles outbreak? Because that's happening, too. Youth unemployment rate for December was uh, 12.4%. Citizens. I don't know what the illegal immigrant unemployment rate is. I don't even know if it's, if it's, uh, if it's counted. Uh, one more. Jeb Bush. One final comment here at the Detroit Economic Club, at least in the soundbite roster that we have. How do we create high sustained economic growth? And that's to shift away from family reunification being almost the sole driver of legal immigration to narrowing that to what every other country has, spouse and minor children, and dramatically expanding immigrants that are coming to work, a guest worker program to deal in the areas where there are shortages. Short, okay. So shortages of certain kinds of workers in America. And rather than support illegal immigration because we want to reunite, parents with their children. No, that's a losing problem. No, we want to bring in workers. I wonder how many that would eliminate if you tell them before you come, you have to work. Anyway, that's Jeb Bush. And then last night on Special Report with Brett Baer, during the All-Star panel, uh, A.B. Stoddard from TheHill.com talking about all of this. Jeb Bayer, uh, Brett Bayer asked A.B. Stoddard, will Jeb Bush's position on immigration, will that fly in Iowa, A.B.? The immigration issue is what um, talk radio is fired up about now and um, is already bashing him over. It's a long way to Iowa. He doesn't really know today's Republican Party. It's not popular with the conservative wing of the party. Very tough issue for Jeb Bush. Talk radio, there we are again. See? We have all the power in the world when they think we are standing in the way of what they want. Talk radio. Damn them. Damn it. Talk radio cares about talk radio. Standing in the way of what the drive-by media wants. When the drive-bys are getting what they want, then, of course, the story is that talk radio is inconsequential. It doesn't matter anymore. It's just a bunch of extremist entertainers anyway.